Hi, today I'd like to talk about the Chess Genius Exclusive Millennium Board. Um, I want to talk about not only the board, I want to talk about how it fits in to the over the board online marketplace today. A lot of people are want to playing over the board and online. Now I've had this board for approximately five years now, so I've been playing online over the board chess through Lee Chess. Now, a lot of people want to play on chess.com. Uh, they feel that, I don't know, you can, it's, a, it's a much broader uh, and easier format. It's got all the puzzles and it's a much more, um, I don't know, a lot of people like the chess.com app. Uh, I still like Lee Chess, I like them both. Now, the difference is that you can do Lee Chess and chess.com on this board. You can play both of them. However, you are limited at the, at the beginning, when I first bought this, when I got onto chess.com, all I could play was international, I could just play anybody. I, I could play only random players. I could not play my friends and I could not play the bots. Now, over the years, we've worked things out through tech support and working things out, uh, Millennium and chess.com kind of worked together. Everything finally worked out and through a Chrome app, the, um, the, uh, the chess, chess Connect app, there's a Chrome app that you could, a chess extension you could put on here and uh, onto your Google Chrome. And when you log into chess.com, it logs you right in and gives you all the functionality of chess.com over the board. So now that took a, took a couple of years though, so uh, to actually get that done. But it is available now on this board. And I'm gonna tell you that it works just fine. I'll show you real quick here, just an example. You just turn on the chess link. This is chess link module, Millennium chess link module, Millennium exclusive board. This is what's available. This is what, what was available to me at the time when I was looking for this option. Now, in order to play chess.com over, over the board, I had to go into Google Chrome and add an extension, the chess connect extension. And once you add that, load that up, excuse me, and you can just, I go on to my, I have chess.com as an app uh, already on here, and I just click chess.com, brings it right up. I, I have it all set up. I mean, it's just my, it, it goes right into my, my account. I'm just gonna go to play bots to show you that you can play the bots now on here. And it brings it up pretty quickly. I'm just gonna go to, um, let's see, are we connected? We are not connected because what didn't I do? Oh, I didn't hit connect down here. There's a connect button right here. Connect and it'll search and it's searching and it found it. So I click on that, I click on Millennium, I pair it up and now we're ready to go. Sorry about that. And that was so, see, I mean, these are just little things that you do have to go through sometimes to, to play a game. Um, now I'm doing it on the on camera now, so I'm just a little different. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick somebody here. I'm gonna pick a random bot. I'm gonna hit play. You may hear that may have heard that noise. There's always a little click, and I'm just gonna make a move here. And on this board, it has four lights on each square which will light up and show where my move goes and then where the opponent makes his move or her move. And it works very well. You get to play on a wooden board. I added um, coordinates on my on the side of mine. I just like that. Um, it helps me when I work on puzzles, things like that. So, it, but that was just, that's just an aesthetic thing and they're removable anyway. They're just stickers. Um, they come right off. Uh, it's just something I thought, that's a lot of extra room over here. I might as well throw some coordinates up there. So anyway, this is just a nice little quick example of how this board works uh, and now works with ch with bots on chess.com. And you can see here, it's just playing exactly like it would on chess.com. It's showing you all of your all of your moves, all of your players' moves. And then you could go ahead and I'm gonna resign just to show you real quick, like I resign. And now I'm just gonna to go to analysis. And you could do your you could do your analysis right here. So that's I mean that's pretty simple, but it took a while to get to this point. And you're using a laptop, excuse me, and the chess link module 
and the board. So then you've got cables kind of running all over the place here, really, because you got this plugged in to this, and you've got this plugged into the wall. And then, of course, you got cables from your laptop, uh, so or your computer. So that's going to make a difference. So you can do your analyzation. You'll flip it around, turn the, you know, just flip this around and analyze your game after you're all done. So that works out well. Now, that is that aspect. So I'm just going to get out of here right now. I'm just going to resign. I, I resign that game. I'm just going to close this out. We're done with that. Okay. Now that was that. That's not too bad now, but it took a while to get to that point. Like I said, it took about two years probably before we got to that point, maybe three before we got that Chrome extension. And uh, that was that was nice when we got that. So it's been a while in the, and it's just something that really we had to work at. And so it, it's all going now. But here's my point. There are now new chess boards available on the market that do all of this in a nice little compact form. And they even do more. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you what the differences are. Okay, so let's. I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm going to show you how I can just hook up to the uh, Lee Chess just over the tablet. We'll shut this down. I'm going to do that right now. We'll just do it real quick. It shouldn't take much time. I'm just going to reset these, and it'll just take me a minute instead of going through the whole thing again. All right, I'm just going to fire up my tablet. And it's going to be pretty much the same thing. We're already hooked up. You see the red status light on the Millennium. So we are hooked up. Uh, I have ch the Chess Link um, module app already in here. So I'm just going to click on that. It opens it up right away. And automatically it wants me to log into uh, uh, Lee Chess. So I have, an, I have a Lee Chess account. So I'm just going to click on Log into Lee Chess. Now it's going to want to connect to my board. It may do that seamlessly. It may just go ahead and do it by itself. Um, or I may have to connect on my own here. Uh, let's see. Log, let's log into, let's log into Lee Chess. So we logged into Lee Chess. Are we connected? Uh, yes, we are connected. There's a green icon up here that shows that the board is connected. And also the green stat, the green light on here, uh, shows that you're connected when it blinks. So we are connected. I'm just going to go to new game. You have several options. It's the, all the Lee Chess options are available on here. Uh, which are several. I'm um, going to go to engine. You could play Pete. You could play. Uh, you could play individuals that you know. You could play random players, and you could also play the engine. I'm just going to play the engine right now. I'm going to create a challenge. It should take me right to the board, which it does. Gets me right going. Gives me my. I have the the noise up pretty. The sound up pretty loud. Make my first move. So this is Lee Chess, and this works with just a tablet. You don't need this, but you do need this, 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 and some cables. All right. So that's that, and this move, this works out. This moves pretty fast too. It's a quick playing game. I mean, he moves quickly, or it, it moves quickly. Um, I just make some moves, but that's that's as simple as it is now on this. So hey, that wasn't too bad, right? However. My point is, there are a lot of other options out there now. This is five years gone by. We've got, I just did a video on uh, Chess Up, which I think is a great board. And now, Chess Up 2 is coming out, and I'm planning a review on that. And what it does, it incorporates all of this into the board. One, one little window on the board. So, but you don't get a nice wood, you don't get a big wooden board with wooden pieces. So you are giving up some things to get others. Now, it all depends on what you like. It depends on what your preference is. My personal preference, I do enjoy this, this board. I love this board. It's, uh, I've always, uh, everything about it is aesthetically pleasing to me. Uh, I like the wooden pieces. I like the wooden board. Uh, the contrast is great. I like everything about it. I've never had a, any, any malfunctions with this board ever. Uh, so, or the chest link module, anything. It's all been good ever since we did those things we had to play on chess.com. So anyway, uh, yeah, and you can also play this board with the uh, module as well to just not play online. It's still a great board to play, uh, play just the board. It has tons of functionality. Uh, the ELO is maybe up to uh, 2400, which certainly is plenty for me. 
uh, maybe other people that that may still be a little bit low for them but good for you and uh, I hope that uh, <laughs> I hope that this would still be good enough for you but I don't know so anyway uh, this is a great board but there are other 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 options out there yes chestnut has a bunch of options too um, I really am interested in looking at the chestnut Evo board uh, it wraps all of this into one and then some so I think that I'd love to do a, a comparison between the Evo and this exclusive uh, just to show how far we've come in five years and I think that the Evo really does from what I've read and what I've seen and everything I've done uh, all of the inquiries I've done with it seems like it does everything I want it to do and more it does all of this and more but we shall find out I'm planning on a review on that next and hopefully the chess up too we should be doing reviews on both of those and uh, i hope to help you out on both of those and see where what you want to do uh, they're both about the all right now the chess up two is going to run around i don't know so I, i'm just going to guess and say 349 okay the uh chestnut evo i don't know you're talking about maybe in the area of 600 uh this board plus the chestnut module and you got to add something else like a tablet or a, or a computer or something of that nature you're looking at you know maybe eight hundred dollars and up so those are other things to consider as well i just want to kind of throw all these things out there because i know that there's a lot a lot of interest in this market right now a lot of people want to play over the board um and i think that i could really help you out if you just keep watching and i'm going to do the best i can to show you because i've been doing this for five like i said about five years now i've been working on this and i'm going to keep on going and i like these new products out there i'm going to keep testing them and i'm hoping that they're going to solve all the problems that hey all of us for the past five and six years have been going through and we can just buy this new board and everything will be all wrapped up into one okay all right thanks everyone for watching hope you got something out of it please stay tuned and watch for these other videos coming up. Okay. All right, everybody take care.